It's Huli here with Jay Nation, back at you with another video. All right, today's topic is gonna be the tire letters on the car. Just wanted to go over um, the pricing, the installation, how hard it was to do if it was, because uh, I do get a lot of questions about them, especially when I'm out, like probably at a gas station, I've got asked dozens of times now, where do I get them? Um, did, did you buy the tire like that already? And so the tires did not come with this. These are stock tires that come with the RS package. They're, they're actually are Goodyear Eagle F1s. And I bought the tire letters separately from treadwear.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. You could get them to say whatever you want. You just type in a message and they'll print out letters for you so that you can install them on your tires whatever it may be they have even uh, stripe designs and things like that I went with the basic uh, Goodyear Eagle F1 as you can see and there's still I've had them already for about what like four months now on the car they're still good most people would tell me that oh when I just got them they were telling me oh man they look good but you know they're gonna turn yellow or you know they're gonna get dirty fast I mean I do wash my car um, at least once a week so I do take care of the tires I wash the tires just when I wash my car you know every week so so far they're still clean white and they're not yellowing out or anything like that I've had them for yeah, like I said almost four months now and they still look great so yeah the installation was probably I guess it wasn't hard it just took a lot of time it did take about I would say three hours to do might take you longer might take you you know might be a lot quicker for you for me i just had to uh, the, um, wash the tire each tire about three to four times because that's what the instructions say to before you install it you have to clean every tire like really good you know three times it says three to four times and if it's a new tire they say you have to clean it even more because it has oil in the tires that could come out and that'll stain the tire letters down the road. So I didn't want that to happen. So I did wash them uh, at least four times. And yeah, they came out pretty good. I installed, they, they, give, they give you a template that it's pretty much a strip, a long strip that kind of curves to your sidewall. And you just put the letters on that template and then you're supposed to stick that template onto the tire and then just pull off the the tape or you know it's like a sticker you just pull the sticker off and it's supposed to come out nice and perfect i didn't do that i went the route of putting glue because they give you glue that's how you install them they give you like a little tube of um, glue it was enough for all i still have a bunch of glue left you don't need a lot at all just a little dab of it and um yeah it was it wasn't that hard I mean I put uh, each letter on one at a time so it was just me eyeballing it really I didn't use the template they gave me and I put glue on each letter did one at a time and yeah I kind of just measured it with my eyes looked at each tire to make sure they were kind of even and I did a pretty good job they looked pretty even to me and yeah so the price they were it was a hundred dollars with some tax or something like that so maybe like 110 ship it, so 110 wasn't that bad um, some people were saying that they went to tire shops and they were saying they were getting charged about two hundred dollars from what I heard I guess you know for installation they're almost charging them a hundred bucks what it seems like and so I told them, I mean, if, if you're willing to install it yourself, you'll save yourself a good amount of money. For a hundred bucks, you buy whatever you want the tires to say, and you know, you install it yourself. Yeah, and so far they've been lasting. I'm not gonna lie though, there was one thing that did happen not too long ago where I did scrape my tire on a curb in a drive-through that I had never been in before. I was like somewhere, I don't know, in Seal Beach or something. And it, I didn't know how curved the drive through was. So I ran this tire and I hit the E and the A, I guess, uh, on the, the curb. So when I got home, 
I ended up seeing that the E was dangling off and I had to re-glue it. Luckily, like I said, I still had glue left. So make sure you don't, don't use up all that glue. You won't need it. I mean, so I still have like half of the container left. So I used that glue. I just put even more on it. So it stuck right back and it's on there, you know. It's not dangling anymore or anything. I fixed it. I made sure I cleaned the tire again, washed the car first, let everything dry. And I put the glue back on and made sure I pressed on it for like 30 seconds holding it in place so it stood there so it's back not dangling anymore and um yeah so 100 bucks uh it does take some time to install but it's not hard at all and yeah it does change the look of the vehicle it's one of the things i guess i get the most questions on and yeah quick video just wanted to go over that with you guys all right have a good one